right, guys, happy Saturday to you. It is Saturday, September 30th. This weekend, I am heading to Urbana, Illinois to do some racing tonight with the Central Illinois Drone Racers. So super excited about it. Never went over there before. I've never raced with these guys. They're doing a night race. The other thing is since it's a night race, I got to sleep in a little bit today. So I woke up at like 8.30, which is uh, late for a drone race Saturday. <laughs> so super excited to head over there since I've never raced with these guys before. I'm going to do a full-on race vlog. Totally pumped up. It's going to be amazing. So let's uh, hit the road and uh, see how it go. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna make a little pit stop here in Springfield, Illinois. There's a hobby shop here called Falcon Hobby Shop, <laughs> I guess. And I get the impression that uh, they're pretty quad friendly and have a lot of quad parts and I'm needing some batteries. And I'm also wanting to try out a few different types of props. So I've been flying the uh, Emacs Avons, which are the spec props. And those props are absolute garbage let me put it like this like they fly great in the air they're fine but the second one of them gets bent like it just sounds bad and feels weird and a lot of times they get bent without actually looking bent so you end up throwing away props that I think are good and they're hard to they're just really really hard to tell in regard to whether or not they're bent one of them is and uh, sometimes it's really hard to identify which one that is so I'm gonna try out some different props so we're gonna check out this uh, hobby shop and uh, go from there. I think we're about an hour and a half away from where the race is at. So definitely over halfway there, but good trip so far. Let's check out uh, Falcon Hobby. Let's do it. Good deal. Went in and got the hook up on some batteries from the folks at uh, Falcon Hobby Supply. They say that these are the bee's knees, but they might just be a uh, pipe train. But all of my batteries are getting a little bit puffy. So anyway, <laughs> um, there were two guys in there that went to Reno for nationals. Uh, Zach Carlson, who was also a DRL pilot, uh, he was in there. And then the guy that was helping me, uh, he was in the Series 60 and uh, made it to uh, Reno as well. So super nice guys. This was actually a pretty good deal on these batteries. That hobby shop was intense. I was standing there talking to the guy and I realized that I don't think I've actually been in a hobby shop since I started messing with quads. There used to be like a hobby shop in the mall, I think, in Columbia when I was a kid. It had like airplanes and stuff. But that place was cool. It was really neat. Huge store, just massive amounts of inventory. So uh, that, my friend, was pretty cool. And then it looked like they had like an RC playground outside. They had racing gates set up. They had a RC car track, kind of cool stuff. So anyway, good times. I got about an hour and a half till I'm there, so let's head that direction. Do it. We're here, we're getting set up over that way, and uh, I'm gonna get all this crap set up and go from there. So, let's do it. We're just gonna see how many we can get in until they kick us out. So, we just keep charging, keep running until people want to leave or they like say kick us out. I think we're gonna run six at a time, we're gonna have three heats. I don't know if it's on multi-GP or not, but this is the order. Heat one is gonna be Bonnie on race one, Clyde on race two, Gambit on race four, Sellers on race five, Flying Rhino on race six, Shames on race seven, and Chappie on race eight. You guys are heat one. Fun, simple. Easy to see, easy to tell where you're going. 
and hopefully easy to follow for the crowd. Heats are done. We gotta check and figure out the standings, but I'm gonna run a fun heat with the GoPro on. So, horse clear. All right, let's do it. Those were my fastest laps of the night, and uh, I just found out that All right guys, so just left the race. I uh, had an absolute amazing time. Super excited. I took down my very first win outside of Moberly, so I'm just absolutely elated. I had a blast. I won from Horizon Hobby. I won an Inductrix uh, FPV Plus, which is pretty slick. They were giving away a Spectrum Radio and an FPV Wing as prizes. I guess the Wing went to like second or third place. I would have loved to have had that Wing, but I wasn't gonna cry about it because <laughs> I was just excited to freaking win. The guys up there were super nice. Uh, Nick Mode One, the race director up there, super nice central illinois multi-gp chapter like is known to be super fast every time i go to st louis like they're always like those central illinois guys are fast just looking at the national championships last week they had an amazing showing tons of guys out there so really i drove up here expecting to get spanked i just wanted to race with some good racers and learn some stuff and race at night and have fun but winning is really icing on the cake there's a lot of luck involved it's it's definitely a gamble really just got to stay in the air uh, tonight I was able to do that. I stayed in the air and I got my laps in. I guarantee you I wasn't the fastest guy there honestly tonight. This track was all about being slow and steady and so once I settled down and kept it slow and steady I, I got through it and I, I got it done. So all right so behind me by one lap was probably FPV. He could have got me super easy. In third place was Fellstar. Fourth place was Mode 1. Fifth place was Chappie FPV. The Steve got seventh place and that dude was super fast and he left after the fourth round it looks like he crashed out he might have broke something because he was super fast the herder and Sako rounded up the top 10 but anyway super good time i guess big time shout out to folks at horizon hobby they really put up a lot of prizes for this race that's really really cool this central illinois chapter has it really good to have like a killer sponsor because I've never ever ever been to a drone race with that many good prizes so they had raffles and stuff too to raise money for their chapter which is unbelievable but really fun race there were probably like several hundred people there as spectators it was at like a brewery a lot of people there just kind of hanging out and 
checking out what these flying robots were and the track looked super cool yeah that's it now i'm gonna try to find some food figure out how far i'm gonna drive tonight so thank you guys for tuning in if you're into drone racing be sure to share subscribe hit that big old thumbs up if you uh enjoyed this and we'll catch you next time on heart of america fpv later <laughs>